When you look at this throw, the first thing that comes to your mind is that this is a touchdown that sealed the win for the Texans. When in reality, the attention should be focused on the pinpoint accuracy from CJ Stroud. Nico Collins isn't exactly wide open here, but this throw leads Nico towards the open space in the field and allows for a catch and run with momentum. And if this ball is thrown anywhere else but here, it's an incompletion. Now the Texans record may be 2-2, two and two, but CJ's put together four decent performances and three high caliber performances. CJ has thrown for 280 plus yards and two touchdowns in each of his last three games. In total, CJ is 94 for 151 for 1,212 yards and six touchdowns. And I believe this hot start is just the tip of the iceberg. CJ's a rookie, but he plays like a vet. Here on this play, the keys are the linebackers. This ball is going backside to Nico Collins, but as this ball is hiked, you see CJ look left, which in return gets these linebackers flowing and looking that way. But once CJ reaches the top of his drop, he immediately locks on his target, and that's just too much space for this out of place linebacker to cover. But here the Texans are in 11 personnel, and if you look at this Jags defense, they have two wide safeties with nobody in the middle. And if I see that, we know QB1 sees it as well. This is an amazing ball from Stroud, because if you look, all three defenders bail on this under route and are trying to protect the deep ball. But Stroud just outthrows everyone and puts this ball in a place where only his receiver can get it. CJ is breaking more and more records each and every Sunday. He's thrown for over 300 yards twice so far and is the first rookie quarterback to do so since 2020. As well as being the first Texas quarterback to throw for 200 yards or more in his first four career games. And it's just what he's on pace for, so nothing's guaranteed. But he's currently averaging 303 passing yards per game, which puts him on pace to shatter Andrew Luck's rookie record of 5,000 yards set back in 2012. But these numbers aren't a projection. Instead, they're all facts. Shroud has more passing yards than Justin Herbert and Josh Allen, while having more completions than Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. So yeah, it's safe to say the kid is legit. But as I said earlier, He's the rookie and the vet. And here on another two receiver set, the wheel linebacker is the key here. If this linebacker drops back into this area, then you immediately throw there. But if this backer sits and he does not retreat, then you go with your number one option. But the rate at which CJ processes this is unreal. There were no wasted movements on this easy completion. And here two guys go with this out route. So this appears to be an easy throw, but many times we've seen quarterbacks get too anxious and miss this throw due to the pocket collapsing. So kudos to the rookie for keeping his composure and delivering the walk-in touchdown. Anticipation is one of his best traits as a quarterback. And here a slot receiver is going to run an out route, so it's already a far throw, so the anticipation can't be off by one second because this is a pass that can be easily intercepted. And if we pause it here, you see Stroud releasing this ball as soon as the receiver is coming out of his break and putting it away from the corner and the safety. And throws like that are part of the reason why CJ drew so many comparisons to Dak Prescott. Both quarterbacks are pure pocket passers who can make full reads while also being able to make things happen outside the pocket as well. But their 30-6 week 4 win is when all the pieces started to fall in place for this young squad. It's the second straight win for the Texans and this team's first home win since December of 2021. And we see the whopping 30 points they put up against his really good defense. But another noteworthy stat is that Stroud has thrown six touchdown passes and set an NFL record with 151 pass attempts without an interception. And their 24-point win marked its largest margin of victory since October of 2017. The Texans went on to score points on six out of their 10 total drives. But what's impressive is the combination of plays they use to do so. For starters, we all know about this team's defense and their fierce edge rushers. So a way to neutralize pass rushers are by running short routes in screens or anything that'll have the quarterback getting rid of the ball fast. That way these DNs don't have enough time to get back there. So for instance here, we see Highsmith screaming off the edge trying to get pressure, but the Texans just run a screen right behind the area he vacated so that's one way. Another way is to just flat out not block them. And I know that seems crazy, but watch this play. If we pause it here, everything looks like play action, 
everyone's flowing to the left and it looks as if CJ is about to turn over his left shoulder as well. So as a defender, TJ has his eyes focused on the backfield. But with just a simple flip of the hips, CJ turns and throws this quick slant right behind the area TJ vacated. And I know I mentioned earlier that anticipation is one of his best traits, but either equal to or slightly above is his accuracy. Here as CJ's rolling out again, Nico isn't exactly wide open here. And oftentimes these crossing routes, DBs will slow play it and speed up as soon as the ball is thrown for the interception. But when we watch from this angle, we see the throw doesn't allow any time for this DB to jump it as it's thrown on time and on target. It's clear that so far CJ is the best quarterback of his class, and he's only the sixth player in NFL history to average 300 yards per game and have zero interceptions through the first four games of their career. The other five players are all Hall of Famers, so that's elite company. Many recent rookies have struggled to adapt to the NFL's game, but for Stroud, he just looks like a fifth-year senior. And to prove that, he wraps up the first month as an NFL quarterback by winning Offensive Rookie of the Month for September. In the emergence of his weapons on the outside have a lot of people wondering if the Texans are better than we gave him credit for. I know the playoffs are a long shot, but with the Texans sitting at 2-2 two two four weeks into the season, they're already well ahead of schedule. The Falcons are next and the Texans are looking to make it three straight. In a few years, will this Texans team be special? Or is it the fact that nobody has film on CJ Stroud, so he just looks better than what he really is? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check this video out as well, which is all about another quarterback who took the NFL by storm. Peace.